Hey guys, Bondo here. We are at a job today and we just dug it out. We were supposed to be putting a stem wall in here in the back of this garage and it's supposed to go out 20 feet and it's like 14 feet wide. And we got to digging over here. We we're just supposed to dig it out, put a footer in, like six courses of blocks. And I got to digging and this is all really soft like all topsoil mix and the water table is like right there it's not even wet right now it hasn't even rained that much it's all this black nasty dirt so we're switching gears we're going to layer this in with uh some crushed concrete we're going to build it up like way up here then we're going to pour a monolithic slab on it instead of uh trying to do footers because we'd have to step that footer back here to get down below frost and we'd be swimming in the hole actually so um, I got the Yanmar mini over here that's what we dug it with I got Kevin the Kubota skid steer over here on my track skid steer and I'm just going to be dumping that crushed concrete in here and we're gonna do it in lifts and we're gonna tamp it and I'll show you what that stuff looks like but get back on the skidster here and what, nothing can be brought up close in here kind of on the, on the lake and we have to dump the material way up there so we got to shuttle it all the way back here with Kevin. material in there we got it tamped up and you can see we gotta go way up here with this past that dirt line with this pad so our biscuit standing is quite a drop off so uh, this is gonna be challenging we got this big huge pile of dirt over here we're kind of layering it in along the side we're gonna have to build up the back here but I want to have a place for the water to run out so I want to build this concrete up, this crushed concrete, so that the water will run right out of it. <laughs> and then we'll start building up this, uh, this topsoil material around the pad to try to hold it in with the topsoil material. That's what we're up to. Bro, oh, quiet. Okay, this is uh, two loads in here. We got to get it up to that dirt line, so. And we're dropping off quick over here. Hero, hero, hero. That's what she's looking like. All right, guys, so this is where we're at. Kind of getting things looking a little nicer here. Um, I got that dirt all kind of banked up around it. I've got about probably four feet of uh, this crushed concrete here. And that's a pretty good base right there. And uh, I got some, some uh, item four it's called, which is a crushed gravel that I'm gonna put on top of this. I just got a load of that. So this is uh, four loads of crushed concrete, four 10 wheeler loads. And I think he's hauling 16 to 18 yards per load. So got a lot of material in here already. I put a lot of the dirt over on this side with the excavator. Rose over there rolling around. What are you doing, Bob? Watch out for the rebar. There's some rebar pieces in this concrete. Because it's just crushed up recycled concrete. So now I'm going to put that item four in here. I'll show you what that looks like and uh, we'll get her all tamped up. We got the big tamper. Rose tied to the big tamper right now. We'll get it all tamped. The boys are heading this way and then we can uh, form up our pad here, finally, after all this digging. This is day number two over here, about halfway through. It's almost lunchtime, but it's coming along all right. We'll get her. I got Kevin the Kubota over here. He's waiting to go. Like Anmar. 
Kevin's ready to rip. Get that item four in there. Hmm. Alright guys, we got her. Already for concrete here. That's what this little pad looks like. 16 by 20. Everything's ready. It's thicker around the edge here. Everything's tamped down good. We had some extra stones. We kind of ran some stone around the outside. Blended everything in. It rained today. It's kind of wet over here, but... That's what the back looks like, kind of drops off the rotor. But a lot different than what we thought, but sometimes you gotta improvise. This is gonna be a much better deal for them. I don't believe uh, being down in that mud would have been a good idea with a regular footer and blocks. If you watch my videos, you've seen what happens when the blocks are down in the water. We made a mess of his yard. I just back bladed it all, but it's got to dry out. Let me show you. That skidster, an excavator, digs it up pretty good. But we'll get a, we'll get it cleaned up when it dries. It just rained today, but we made a mess all the way up to the pile everything had to come back here with Kevin and the excavator the mini excavator just about beer 30 guys we're gonna pack up and get the heck out of here I'll try to include the pour in this video for you stay tuned okay guys we're back at our little pad project here a little garage edition um, Kevin the Kubota is here today. I am going to be shuttling concrete as, soon as the mud gets here. Should be here any minute. Basically going to pull them in up here and we're going to shoot into the bucket. And then we got a kit drive on this lawn with the concrete truck and a septic here. So we can use a track skidster because it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the ground. So we are going to be going back through here our little pad and dumping into over here big biscuit in the house hot one today. it's a hot biscuit today <laughs> burnt biscuit everybody's shirtless today mm -hmm. except me here's the pad give you a good hour after you get out of that air conditioning yeah skid i'll be in the ac skidster <laughs> okay so here's our little mono slab Seen us building in the video here. We got rebar to put around two rebars around the outside. We're actually going to throw two in the middle. We got wire mesh in here. We're going to be pulling up with that potato rake right there for you wire mesh policemen. And that's about it. So we can hit this from either side. We can hit it from over here and come in and dump it. And we can go around the garage that way and dump it. We're going to dig up our work a little bit, but that's all right. It's a lot drier right now than it was um last time we were here it's been about a week so we're gonna get this poured and actually we're gonna try to lay some blocks on the top of the pad today and get it right done so i'll show you how we're gonna do that too we got some block we got some mortar on the trailer and we're gonna let her eat stay tuned smell it. say it jay I can smell it. say here comes the mud Dustin's turn. Here comes the mud. Oh, dude, that was lame. Here comes the mud. <laughs> Who is it, Dwight? Tell him to pull in. Let him pull right in. You can't read our mind. Circle T, baby. 315-963-2231. For your concrete needs in the central New York area. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get rolling. Kevin's right there. I'm gonna spray it off though.
beautiful. Look at that great gold. Probably get a little more than that. Okay guys, it's 2.17. We poured this thing about 11.17. Yeah, about the same time, 11.17 or so. And we, this section is completely done. Only spot that ain't where Biscuit is in the shade right there. So he's sliding that. And we already started laying some blocks. So I had to stop laying blocks because that floor was just toasting right up. So. Biscuit's gonna hit it again with the mag. We're just gonna have to blend that section into the to the burnt section. We took the machine right off. So we're gonna have to try to get some more blocks laid here. Dustin's mixing up a batch of mortar. And we gotta clean that power trowel too. That's where we're at. 
that's the trouble working in the sun. How soft that is. And you get out here and it's burnt completely, shiny. Machine finished. But that sun is right above us. You can see it. You can see that shade line. That's what screws you up with concrete sometimes, guys. Shade. Biscuits in the shade. I just finished laying these blocks, guys. Biscuits drilling some holes. We're going to put some rebars down into the slab. And we're gonna core fill that block. And then we're gonna put an anchor bolt in there. That's what we're doing now. And then uh, we're gonna put some concrete sealer on this whole thing. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like here in a little bit. All right, guys, there it is. I just sealed it all. Anchor bolts are in, everything's core filled. That cleaned up pretty good around here. And that is the concrete pad that is like, it's got to be five feet thick of concrete right there. Five foot thick concrete pad. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Catch you on the next one.